Hello and welcome back. In this video I'm going to talk you through the default plugins that I would suggest. These are the ones that you put in pretty much no matter what. You're going to want these. There's plenty of other plugins that will need to be put in depending on what you're trying to achieve. These are the ones you're going to need anyway. The optional extras or suggested other options, there's a separate link below for that. And there's many, many more plugins, some free, some paid for. You can find those just by either Googling it or using the WordPress library of plugins. So let's just look down this list of what I'm suggesting that you put in by default anyway. All-in-one SEO. This does pretty much all or 95% of your on-site SEO, your search engine optimization. I would strongly suggest you simply put it in, install it, make the changes that I'll show you in a second, and that's it. That's pretty much all you'll need to do for your on-site SEO. Google Sitemap Generator, this generates a sitemap on your website that Google likes. So it's to help you to index your site in Google, to get your site indexed, found, recorded, registered in Google, so Google can then more easily spider, so filter through and look in your site, so it knows what's new, what's there, how to index it. So this sitemap will help Google do that. Lazy Load, what this does is it says to every image on your page don't bother to load that image unless it's on screen so if it's down below the screen there's no point making the page load slower by loading all the images so this says only download the images that should be on screen which makes your page load faster reduce bounce rate this measures the bounce rate that google analytics will measure better it tells the Google Analytics tracking system to more accurately measure it it gets really techy don't worry about it just install it and that's it you forget about it SI capture this puts a capture on your comment system so spammers are not necessarily stopped but it's a lot harder to spam your site super socializer this has a lot of social elements within your site such as on all your blog posts adds a share this on Facebook Twitter etc on there many other social elements that brings in lots of things to go through just install it and look through each of the different items WP DB backup WordPress database backup this is a boring functional thing for security you need to have a backup of your database what I would suggest you do is send yourself a weekly download of the database of your site so this will do this for you the settings are pretty easy what smush it does is it crunches and shrinks all the images that you upload into your site into your blog posts and pages it crunches them down to make them smaller again to make your site load faster contact form 7 this is probably the most popular contact form plugin you're going to need this at least in one page on your contact page you may have numerous other different pages that you want some kind of contact form. you may have numerous other different contact form elements that you might want on your site there's also a link there for Google Webmaster Tools, which is a Google provided system that will tell you if there's any problems with your site. You can attach it, Google Webmaster Tools together with Google Analytics so the two can talk to each other so you can get a better interface so you can see what pages have a problem if there are any, if there's any page crawl errors, if Google's got any problems actually visiting a certain page if, or if they think there's a spam issue on a certain page, that's what Google Webmaster Tools is good for. Also you've got C Cleaner, which is either computer cleaner or CRUD cleaner. It cleans your computer to make your computer run faster. There's a link there for it, it's a free software tool. I use it about once a week to make my computer run faster. So now let's run through how to actually install these. So here we are on our website, WordPress Admin. So now we're going to go to Plugins, Add New, and we're just going to search plugins up here. This is the search of the library, and just type in one by one on this list. So we'll just search in here. Now the reason that I've given you the name of who it's by is so you don't get confused with any other plugin that might be of a similar name. This is by Michael Torbert. And we can see this here it says it's by Michael Torbert. So all you do then is install now, and that's done. Now let's activate that, and it's come up with an all-in-one up here with a little welcome message there. So we can see here we're on the plugins page. We've got all-in-one that's just been installed here. Repeat that process of add new search plugins for each of these ones in this list here. So the next one, Google Sitemap Generator by Arne Bratchold. Here it is here by Arm Bratchold. Yep, that's the right one. 
install now click activate and that's that one done repeat that process for each of these ones here just look at the name search for it in when you add the plugin type it in there manually and install it repeat for each of those and when you've done that I'll talk you through each one of them how to set each one up